Hi, my name is Natalie, and today I'm going to teach you how to create this name bar necklace using Tinkercad. If you have not already done so, go to www.tinkercad.com on your computer. This link provides software that I will be teaching in today. Here's a look at what we'll be making in today's class. The inspiration for this piece comes from the Kira Kira logo and the minimal bar design that is so popular right now. This nameplate is made out of PLA filament and it was made by the wonderful team here at Kira Kira. You too can have your finished designs printed just like this by submitting to your Kira Kira profile. Now let's get started. Go to Tinkercad.com. Make sure you're signed into your profile. Click the Create New Design button with Beta. Don't worry about the name, Mighty Remo Elzing. <laughs> that you can change later. Here's your workspace. Here's Copy, Paste, Undo, and Redo. Here's the planes that change your new view. Top, front, left, bottom. Here's Group, Ungroup. So now we're going to take our red block and move it to the workspace. Click and drag the right side until it gets to 30 millimeters. That's a good size for our bar. And now I'm going to click the center dot so it lowers down to 12 millimeters. See, just like this. And then I'm going to make the height 2 millimeters because that's a good thickness for our finger. We're going to zoom in by holding down shift and moving our fingers up. Or we can rotate our block using these. Now creating the jump rings, holes. Here's the cylinder. I'm gonna click and drag the cylinder onto and workspace. I'm gonna go to the white square and click and drag while holding down shift. The shift button will help it stay proportional. And these holes were made at three millimeter, which is a great size. And that means that you can put chains through there. Jump rings will fit too. I'm gonna place it to the left side of the bar. To rotate our view screen, you can see where it's positioned on our bar. The four white squares are on the base because that's the bottom of our cylinder. I'm gonna move it up and down so you can see it come out the bottom and then out the top. Command C and the Command V. So I just copied and pasted because I need another one of these. It's pushing it a little too close to the other side so I'm gonna change my grid. So down here, I changed my grid. This makes my increments smaller so I can be more precise. All right, so that looks pretty good. So now that we have our two circles, for our jump rings, I'm gonna make the edges rounded so it's smoother. So you can go with the slides here, or you can click in and actually be more precise of exactly how I want it. So I want it like 0.5. Now I can rotate it and you can see where it is. Nice rounded edges. And you can still see my two cylinders sticking out where our two holes are gonna be cut. Now back to the top. Well, since the cylinders were used with the holes, they're already going to be cutting out. So I'm gonna select all. By grouping them together, it will cut out those two cylinders from our bar, just like this. Now you can see them. See, there are two holes. So I click this bottom and I still see that all my proportions are still the same. 30 by 12 by 2. So now let's add the text. Here's the text. I'm going to click and drag it onto my workspace. It is huge. Look at that. All right, so that's not what we want. Now here's our fonts. Now we can pick from three different fonts. I think I'm going to stick to sans mono. Now here's where you add in your text. So that's where you change it. And I'm gonna type in Kira Kira with all capitals because that's how we do it here. Now here's the height and I'm gonna adjust it to only one millimeter because I don't wanna punch the Kira Kira all the way through the bar. If you want to, you can. One millimeter means that I'll have a good stamping or engraving of Kira Kira on my bar without going all the way through. Now I'm gonna shrink this down because obviously it's way too big. So I shrunk it down and I moved it next to the bar because we need to make sure that it's going to be on top because right now it's on our workspace surface. I'm going to move it up and slide it on over here using my black triangle. My cone lifts it up and I moved it. And now I'm kind of position it right where I want it. But as you can see, looking at the top, it's a little lower than I want. So I'm using my arrows again and I can kind of position it back to where I want. It's a little too close to those holes, so on either side, I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. All right, that looks about right. 
Okay, so now we're sticking up off the top, and now I'm going to lower it down. See, I'm going to go past the plane, and now just below. Okay, so now I can still see it, and now you see where the white dots are? For my bottom square, they come right in the middle of my bar, so that's perfect. All right, so now I'm going to cut out this in the hole. So click here and hole, and it cuts away the cara cara from my bar. I'm going to select all of it, and then I'm going to group it all together to make sure it is all there. There. Now you see it. You can see where it cut away. And as I rotate this, it looks like it's cut all the way around, but it's not. I'm going to switch over here to the back like this. And see, there you go. Now you can see that it hasn't cut all the way through. It was just showing the fact that it had cut out the Kira Kira. So now I'm going to zoom in, and there is our name bar. Now here's how to save your STL. Tinkercad automatically will save your work to your profile, but we need you to save it in an STL file. So go on here to export and click on the STL option. It'll automatically download to your computer. It'll give it a really funky name, but don't worry, you can change the name later. And now I'm gonna change the color. I like pink, so I'm gonna change my bar to pink. It doesn't mean that it has to print out in pink, it's just whatever color that I want it in. All right, and here's back to our profile. And you can see my recent designs, and as it loads, there it is. And I can change my properties on here. This is where I rename it, Kira Kira, and I'm gonna call it Name Bar. There you go. And then I'm gonna make this public so everyone can see it, All right? And then click and save. And then as you can see, it uploads, and there it is, public. And you can spin it around and see it in 3D, just like this. Now that you know how to create this nameplate, you can use the same tools we work with today to create many other things. Your imagination is your only limit. Check out karakara.com and watch more classes from our amazing team. You can continue on to another course in this series, or you can select a different series. Remember to upload your finished files to your Karakara profile. Thanks again, and we hope you've learned a lot, and come visit us again soon.